911. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin, live for us at the Pentagon. So, Jennifer, this is breaking right now. It's my understanding that one of these blimps costs a billion dollars. What else do we know? Well, Gretchen, it's a very serious situation. I just got off the phone with NORAD, and two F-16 fighter jets have been scrambled from Atlantic City. Uh, they are tracking this blimp, which has 16,000 feet of, of rope line to, uh, that, uh, attached to it. It is still filled with helium. It is floating, we understand, over Pennsylvania. They are very concerned about whether it will come down uh, over a populated, populated area. Uh, the Army at Aberdeen Proving Ground, where this uh, blimp had been moored, uh, put out a press release. But now F-16 fighter jets are tracking it, and they are asking, as you mentioned, for help from the public if they see this blimp in the air to call 911 because, again, it, it's filled with, uh, filled with helium. Nothing like this has ever happened before in terms of such a large blimp. It's able to monitor, Gretchen, uh, right. an area the size of Texas. Okay, okay, so now was this moored and somehow it came loose on its own or was it already in the air and lost track of where, where it was supposed to be? No, it, it was moored at Aberdeen Proving Ground in Maryland. It's been moored there for some time. This is a device that the U.S. uses to protect the homeland. It essentially can monitor for incoming aircraft, missiles, um, and it became unmoored. It's not clear how it got loose of its tether, but now it is floating in the air at about 16,000 feet, and those two F-16 fighter jets are tracking them. Gretchen. Okay. Uh, do you have any indication, Jennifer, about how they might bring this down or if they want to bring it down? What's the plan? I think right now that is what is being debated here at the Pentagon and with uh, and at NORAD. Uh, the decisions will have to be made as we speak right now. Uh, the defense secretary is in the briefing room here speaking side by side with the Israeli defense minister. That was a pre-scheduled press conference. But decisions have to be made about what to do with this helium blimp that is that is floating. It's filled with military technology. It's, as you mentioned, a very expensive uh, piece of military equipment and it is it is floating over uh, Pennsylvania as far as we know right now all right and as you just mentioned two fighter jets trying to track it if anyone else has any information please call 911 we'll continue to visit the story throughout the hour Jen